I think is um 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 I use more social media among my friends because I um have been I got good influences and bad influences either. I think it built my current knowledge and too much ego. And for our community, I think it's so important for our community, but it's grew up to a huge problem now. So I think it should be diluted or never never happen. It should be what? Diluted and never or never happen. Diluted? Yes. Uh, okay. When you mean by, when you mean what you mean by never happen is uh, social media should have never started in the yes. first place. Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. First, so many students died or having a stressful life for using social media because current students' stereotypes are kind of weird because they think they are superstar for having a lot of followers, which is nothing. Followers do nothing for their life, but since they think they're cool and stay on high table. On the on the other hand, students who have a bit, bit of followers and lost they lost self esteem because they're comparing with other people. They don't even have to do it, but they can't because that's our social community. It's a real realism. Okay, speak more clearly, please. I can't understand you. Many students are suiciding or fell in deep depression and or hurt themselves. Okay. Second. Most of, most of our parents watch news in the morning because we got a chat issues like COVID. Have you ever used Twitter or Facebook? It's one of the most famous social media. It's the platform which bad people make fake news from. Fake news offers sort of bored. The big fake news are COVID, religion, and fake donation. People got wrong info and get mad about it and do protest or fight with each other. Government can do nothing because they obviously can't stop fake news coming. I feel like fake news are beyond one's grasp. Experts need to investigate and find a solution. Finally, there is so much medi medical and mental caution in social media. Some of, pe some of people trying to meet people and get closer and on the other hand, sort of comes, scums, abuse that. They got closer to people and get info and dress them to come out to a certain location and kidnap them and mm. kill them and sell their organ to hospital. Whoa. So innocent people are dying because of this. And Police that that's because of social media? This this happens through social media? Because like bad people trying to contact like innocent like mm -hmm. and they get closer, like give things or something. Giving them mm -hmm. and made them real life mm -hmm. and kidnap them and actually sell their thing. Oh, so okay. the first foundation is the social media. Mm, okay, and that's a that's actually happened before. Yes, I watched a lot of the news. Wow. Okay. Uh, because of this, police need to stop comes comes to keep doing this for protect citizens safe, and it must not be happen again because it's happening on this time as well. I always said while researching about this topic, the founders of social media must be mad or sad because they made they made social media because for for the human's comfort, but so many people hurt and died because of the social media. I think government and police experts must make solution for people safe and the people who died. I think they should ban uh, social media. If it's grow more, thank you. Well, what's that about? This is the last. Oh, I, I think you need to know the timing of your slides a little bit better, Timothy. And uh, another thing, it, it, uh, it doesn't have to do with your presentation, but you need to make make better eye contact. Your eyes are glued to your to your uh, writing, oh, so okay. make a little better make a a little bit better eye contact. And instead of writing it out, maybe you should type it out next time because you had a hard time seeing some of the words, so you were like leaning towards it a little bit. Yes. Okay, so type it out next time. Now I have two questions, Timothy. Uh, so you talked about how a lot of fake news spread through social media, and, and that's becoming a, a huge problem. Yes. And you also think that the government can't do anything about it. Why do you think they can't? Because like, like. Just like uh, just like us, nobody, no, anyone can post fake news. 
So I think anyone can do it instead of the athletes who are like doing or doing the fake news postures. So I think they cannot stop. Okay. Then how do you think that can be solved if the government can't do anything about it? The strongest people in the world. Maybe I think they spend many money to call get all of them. I think that's only the way. Well, who's who's them? The people that are spreading fake news? Okay. Do what with them? Like arrest them? Yeah, arrest them and search up their certain IP okay. and So the government can do something about it. But I think that's that costs so many so many time and money and there is like so many people are post posting that in the world worldwide mm -hmm. so it's hard to do it. Okay, so it's like it's a very it's a very small possibility for that to happen, right? Yes. Okay, and my next question is, uh, you talked about the, the scums who contact people through social media, acting like they will help them out, but then when they meet them in person, they do bad things like uh, kidnapping them or uh, like killing them and selling their organs and stuff like that, right? Yes. You talked about how police officers should stop the scums, right? Yes. Uh, how do you think they'll be able to do that? Because like, there should be like, a bit of evidence mm -hmm. and... I think the police can solve the, the, that thing. Hmm, okay, so you think they can solve this problem by uh, looking up their evidence? Looking up their evidence, like, it, it's hard, but I think it, there is more possibility than the back topic. Back mm. Okay, all right, does anybody have any questions for Timothy's presentation? No. No? All right, guys, one more big round of applause for Timothy, please.